Does anybody remember the TV show That's Incredible? I'm probably dating myself here. I'm probably not because you probably have no idea what I'm talking about because it was so long ago. But uh, I don't know for some reason when I when I got the email from Verizon they were going to send over the drug Incredible 2. All I could think about was Fran Tarkenton being on that show. But no, it's not a TV show. It's the Dread Incredible 2. Is it incredible or is it uh, just kind of mediocre because there's no 4G? Let's find out. So the original Droid Incredible, oh wait, sorry, hey, what's up everybody, I'm Noah from Techno Buffalo. The original Droid Incredible was honestly one of my favorite um, Android phones of its uh, generation, I guess of last year. It was the phone that I always told uh, friends of mine, it was always the answer to the question, hey, I'm on Verizon, but I really want an iPhone, what should I do? And my answer was always get a Droid Incredible. Um, or, you know, switch to AT&T to get an iPhone. Uh, now, of course, the answer to that question is get an iPhone because you're on Verizon. But still, the Droid Incredible, uh, one of, I think, the all-time, I don't know, one of my favorite Android phones, like I said, from the, that original slew of Android phones. So here's the successor. Uh, it will be available on April 28th from Verizon for $199.99 with a two-year agreement. Um, obviously, made by HTC, Android phone with... With uh, Android 2.2, HTC Sense, it's got a 1 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon processor in there, and uh, it's not a 4G phone. It's it's 3G only, so uh, not taking advantage of the new LTE network. Um, also in the box, you get the HTC AC charger, part number ADR 6325VW, and the HTC Micro HD uh, Micro USB cable part number. Oh, there's a lot of parts there. I don't think that's really part number. So the numbers mean something else. And then you also get uh, your manuals, master your device, all that stuff, and these nice little cornstarch bags that are so eco-friendly. Uh, so like the original, incredible uh, Android HTC Sense, all that. It's got a similar back with the textured kind of the Concord, Concord, the contoured back panel with um, you know the little levels kind of topographical and uh, kind of a, a soft grip uh, plastic back. Um, you've got two, pho uh, two phones, two cameras on this device though. There's a front facing camera now for uh, video chat and self portraits and all that good stuff and then of course the main camera on the back. The uh, main camera is an 8 megapixel deal with dual LED flash. The front uh, 1.3 megapixels, and then you can do 720p HD video capture, uh, and the device supports DLNA, so you can wirelessly share your uh, fabulous home movies to DLNA equipped TVs and, and other stuff, like all that smart TV stuff we've been doing. A lot of those things have DLNA or some, some form of DLNA. Different companies, different names for it. Anyway, uh, you've also got a 3G mobile hotspot service uh, that can support up to five enabled devices. Uh, and again, 200 bucks on contract. So the uh, the Thunderbolt, which is um, HTC's 4G phone, and now the Droid Charge. Uh, both char there's both uh, both of those have a premium. Both of those are I'm trying to say is Verizon LTE devices. And uh, both of those you're paying a little bit more for the 4G. The uh, the Droid Charge, $299.99 on contract. Of course, it does come with a 32 gigabyte SD card, as does the uh, Thunderbolt for that matter. Anyway, here's the phone itself, and uh, it seems to be pretty zippy from the get-go, nice and responsive. Uh, it's it's you know pretty thin, it's lightweight. Uh, this The topographical back panel here, the contoured thing, kind of makes it feel thinner around the edges, which is nice, so when you're holding it, you know, it gives that feeling of being being thinner than it actually is on the bottom, but even still, not all that thick of a phone, really. Um, you've got a four inch super LCD display, and on first glance, it looks uh, very nice. Let's go into the, oh, usually they ship with uh, some sample photos. No sample photos here. All right, well, I'm gonna have to, um, I'm gonna have to go into the interwebs. So loading Google right up. Uh, nice to see Verizon's network seems to be back in order after the LTE outage yesterday. I actually, I was trying to get online uh, in San Francisco. I was at the App Nation conference, and I was trying to get online um, using the my Verizon LTE modem. And uh, let's go to Cape Beckinsale. And um, I could not get on even on 3G. I could see the 3G network, but just could not connect. So um, lots of problems all over the country yesterday, but everything seems to be back in order today. So, uh, 
you know, using, using online photos to try to show off the capabilities of the display. Not really a good idea, but there aren't any photos in here. So we'll see if they have uh, any any videos. It is interesting. Usually you see, um, usually they ship with some uh, some sample stuff. Not on this one, apparently. We'll go Need for Speed Shift. Maybe that'll that'll show off the display. Oh, I have to download it. All right, never mind. We'll come back. <laughs> we'll come back with a full review, and that's when we'll really uh, really um, check out the the screen capabilities. This is just supposed to be an unboxing anyway. But, uh, you know, you get an idea. 4-inch Super LCD display definitely looks good. Uh, you know, going head-to-head -head with those new Samsungs, though, that uh, I just taped today's uh, Good to Go episode with, with James Kendrick, and he's got the Droid Charge. Our Droid Charge is uh, on its way, or perhaps already, in John Rettinger's hands. And um, James is telling me the screen on the Droid Charge is just incredible. It's Super AMOLED Plus, 4.3-inch. And uh, I saw some of the Samsung stuff at the conference I was at yesterday. They had a... They had a stand, and I was checking out um, the Galaxy, uh, the Galaxy Five and Galaxy Four players, and then they also had the Galaxy S Two, which is a beast of a phone, and uh, the displays on those very, very sharp as well. So we'll have to see how the Super LCD holds up. But uh, so far, it definitely looks good. Um, again, eight meg meg eight megapixels on the back. I'm having trouble speaking today. Uh, One point three megapixel on the front. Uh, you've got Adobe Flash support, you've got, um, and that is a, one heck of a funnel cloud coming down the street there. Uh, you've got Adobe Flash support, you've got, uh, SRS WoW HD surround sound, uh, face detection technology in the camera, integrated noise cancellation technology, I'm just reading the features off, and, uh, the plans start at $39.99 a month for voice and $29.99 for unlimited smartphone data. So uh, you're looking at you know 70 bucks and up um, for a voice and data plan. And then of course the optional 3G hotspot capability as well. So there you go, unboxing quick hands-on with the Droid Incredible 2. It feels really nice. It feels um, a little more, uh, just a tiny bit more sophisticated or, or rugged or something in its design than the original Incredible. I really, like I said, I really like the original Incredible, so even though this one is not F4G, um, it may well still be worthy of the Incredible name, and, you know, not everybody needs the 4G just yet, because it, it's not rolled out everywhere yet. Much, much more on the Incredible 2 and all the other phones. Here's the Thunderbolt. We'll give you a quick size comparison. There's the 4.3-inch Thunderbolt, and there's the 4-inch Dread Incredible 2 next to it. So, um, oh, is there a battery power in this one? I don't think this one. No, I was going to show you the screen, but there's no battery power in it. Um, there you go. The Incredible 2, the Droid Charge is coming, like I said, down John's way. Uh, a slew of tablets that came in last week, all kinds of stuff. The uh, T Mobile G2X, you know, it's on and on and on again. And, and, and recently, just some plans, uh, some stuff leaked out about the next generation of. Snapdragon, I think 1.5 gigahertz dual core. Now, uh, Qualcomm's Uplink conference is down in San Diego in, uh, I think, in less than a month. So, should see some news coming out of there. But we'll have more on the Incredible 2 for sure over on TechnoBuffalo.com. Till next time, my name's Noah, and you all know John. I think he's going to hit you up with the charge pretty soon. We'll see you later. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.